for four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault. Mine? You're deranged, woman. Hark, good folk. Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic. Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly, how would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? A witcher. So no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say witcher? Not seeking work, are you? You, you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah... Uh. It's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. And someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar-sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. <clears throat> Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell.
place like this. Well, that'd be interesting. Apparently someone's sabotaging operations at Vermentino, but the letter doesn't say who. Hmm. Need to keep looking. Could still find out. Self didn't kill him, bled to death afterwards. Hmm, what have we got here? No chance this letter wound up here by accident. This note plus what I found earlier. Some third party is causing problems at the vineyards. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Then I'll find something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. Count Crespi's behind the sabotage at both vineyards. Gotta tell Matilda and Liam. Master Witchet, have you any news? This vineyard, Belgard. Why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here, it certainly shows. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success. Brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh... The most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. One question remains. What's to become of Coronata and Vermentino? Got caught up in the investigation. Still got problems there, but I'll clear them up. Excellent. Then we shall await news in the matter. Preferably good news. Master Witchet, have you any news? Solved your problems. Coronata and Vermentino can both go back to operating normally. Under the circumstances, it is my pleasure to announce that the title to the Belgard Vineyard will officially be signed over to the new consortium the two of you shall form. Truly? I cannot believe it! We've done it! Oh, thank you, Witcher! I've no idea how to repay you. Could start with my reward. <laughs> yes! Well deserved, I dare say. Here. <laughs> Far be it from me to insist, but I have a feeling a professional's aid might yet be useful to you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come with me. It is high time you saw Belgard. I'm not sure I liked his tone. Come with us, Witcher. Something tells me we shall have work for you yet. All right, let's go. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim. For the I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these uh, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing. We'll gladly accept your help. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. The whole of us! Yeah. Ah, you maggot bummed freak! Thank you, sir. Were it not for you, well, those bandits were not pulling pranks. I could pound some new steel for you, in gratitude, but I must first return to my workshop in Belgard. Let's go. No time to lose. I thank you again for your aid. Care to glance at my wares? What were you doing in the Caraberta woods? And how do you wind up a prisoner of those bandits? Ever since the Count died, I've not had the resources to buy raw materials. Meaning no new barrel hoops, new tools. So I mustered a few lads and went into the woods to scavenge. 
A great deal of scrap to be had in those elfin ruins. If you don't mind digging, folks say the place is haunted, but I've no fear of elfin ghosts. A rational man. Rational or superstitious, it matters not. The point is, I did not see a single ghost. Yet a answer, yes, that we ran into. Though it seems I've more luck than sense, because you came along to save me. See ya. Tended to Belgard's problems. Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard, and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Excellent. Ah, oh, I can already smell the grapes ripening into sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here, your pay. But that's not all. You must come back and see us shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. I'll do that. Farewell. Yeah? What is it? Now why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bobo. Listen, friend. There's an enormous difference between us, but it's not about status. It's about me having two swords on my back, and you having none. So I'll call you whatever I want, and you either deal with that or solve your monster problem yourself. The call. I shall file a complaint with your guild. Mm-hmm. Make sure you address it to customer service. Care Morin, Kedwin. Now talk. Before I change my mind and go. Nautlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange... Scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night. Just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Mm, most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in social status, you remember the farmhand's name, maybe? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yay or nay? Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. It's quiet. Guess the monster actually is nocturnal. Gotta wait till dark. Alright, let's look around.
Shattered dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe. A tunnel? Hmm. Destroy them before the young hatch. Start prowling the vineyard. The last one. No kicking more duck this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. Water coursing. Underground stream. Hmm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground. Digs tunnels. Feeds on Kikimors, and is big, very big. Won't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. Sacre bleu! What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property! Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug them. A large creature. Also killed a few Kikimors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kikimor eggs? Yes, of course. Good work. Indeed, a reward is due. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. John Luke went to reconnoiter and never returned. Where did you last see Jean Luke, madame? Exactly. In. in the fields, uh, north of here, by the wood. New seedlings there? I was under the distinct impression we had planted them all on the south slope. Almost all, my dear. I requested that some be planted to the north, by the grove. Just the remainders. Madame, could you describe Jean-Luc? Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. They mean scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Hmm. Then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or oh, that is what he claimed. Hmm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Bread's really stale. Been here a while. Blanket was laid out here. Footprints. Two sets. to that cave. Claw marks. Straight. Dull. Perfect for digging. Mm. Shalmar's lair. Gotta be. Drags its victims here. Pretty fresh, some of them. 
We're gonna have to brew some bait. Need the blood of a recent victim and some of the mushrooms that grow here. Fresh corpse. Must be Jean-Luc. Crushed ribs, cracked skull. Shalmar did this. No two ways about it. be bearing good news. Get on with it. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Hmm, kinda like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Oh. <sighs> uh huh? Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. As for Jean-Luc, afraid he's dead. Sorry. Who? Oh, him. Trivial as losses go. I shall soon find another to take his place. Right. After all, he is just a peasant. Not a monsieur de blah blue blah. So long. Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Hmm, you two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a bit spicy. Romantic, quite. Got it. Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Espes. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. <laughs> 